In this video, we'll be showing how to stretch materials down on a compound wall over top of a foundation wall. As you can see here, we have a section here uh, with the foundation wall coming up to the bottom of a uh, compound wall. Um, the end goal here is to have the veneer stretched down over top of the foundation wall. To do this, we select the compound wall, go up to Element Properties, select edit type because we're going to be modifying the actual wall itself. We're going to go in and edit the structure of the wall. Once we hit edit, if not already, we need to move to a section modify uh, view. We're going to zoom in tight. Down under modify vertical section, or I'm sorry, under modify vertical structure, we're going to select modify. And as you can see, as we move it along through the various layers of the wall, uh, the uh, bottom of the wall highlights. So we're going to click underneath the brick veneer and you'll see a lock. We're going to unclick this lock to unlock that wall. Now we'll be able to um, stretch that wall down as, as needed. We hit OK here, OK here as well, and OK one last time. Now, as soon as we hit that last OK, you'll see that now that we have uh, drag controls on the bottom of the wall. So I'm going to select the wall, I'm going to scroll in, and I'm going to drag this wall uh, veneer down. We can have that go to a specific dimension or as, as far as we like. Now, in section, we can see that the veneer is stretched down, but we can still see the wall of the uh, concrete foundation wall behind it. This is because the wall hasn't been joined yet. So if we go up to the Modify tab and select Join, what we're going to do is we're going to join the veneer to the foundation wall behind it. So select the veneer wall first and then select the CME wall behind it. As soon as you do that you can see that the line disappears and the foundation wall gets cut away from the brick veneer. 